Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose and this is your daily tarot reading for Friday, October 14th, 2022. We have the 14th today, so one plus four is five and five is freedom. It's taking a risk. It's stepping into change and allowing change to be implemented in our life. It's, you know, conflict that can come from the changes that we, you know, choose to be a part of and take, you know, action towards and it's kind of sometimes I feel like the conflict that comes from when you start making the cho choices for yourself and going down a path that feels right to you that feels aligned to you your desires and your dreams that sometimes that can create conflict with other people because they don't understand why we would want to veer off on our own path when society has kind of already given us some paths to go down right and so there's a risk that comes with that um but ultimately in the end, it frees us from expectations, it frees us from shame, it frees us from judgment, it frees us from guilt or, you know, a lack of self-love because we are choosing to align ourselves in ways that make others happy and not us. And so I love that for this Friday, the, the energy is freedom. And I love that. And that can be even applied to the other things that we were talking about this week of yesterday, you know, that over-analysis paralysis, that freeing ourselves from our fears, our doubts, our anxiety, freeing ourselves from past relationships that didn't work, freeing ourselves from what we learned from our parents when we were children, right? Because um, ultimately, it's going to support us moving forward and to support us in this next journey that we're going on because it's very abundantly clear that we are all going in new directions. Um, and so today, we have the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> the three of pentacles. I don't know why that was hard to come out of my mouth. And then at the bottom, we have the wheel of fortune. I love that. It's also what I was under here. The knight of swords, the knight of pentacles in reverse, and then the knight of cups. Do you see all of this coming in? All of these offerings coming into you. And it's like, with this love's coming in. We're not waiting for the sign anymore of when to act or what job we're supposed to be doing. We're trusting it. We're not. And then we have this Knight of Swords in reverse and we're not allowing our bullshit to get in the way. We're not allowing our ideas, our beliefs that stop us, that, you know, keep us where we're going. That logical brain that takes action or I say that logical brain that maybe talks us out of it or this action that we take without thinking about things through. Like we're going about things in a very, in, like very intentionally. That's what I want to say. And we're allowing that love in. And it's something that we can trust. And it's something that's not going to hurt us. It's something that is for us, especially because we have this wheel of, wheel of fortune down here. Karma's on our side. If we were to go through all these cards in the deck, that's what this would be about, is that your time is now. What you're doing now is important to your future. It's going to impact you like tenfold. And we even had 10 yesterday. So it's this crossroads. We are really at all, like all of these crossroads right now and we're making the decision to move forward and it's that acknowledgement that everything that we've gone through up to this moment has led us to this place this space of working with people that value us working with people that see our talents working with people that see what we have to teach and want to learn from us and vice versa that we see what they have to teach us and we want to learn from them too and it's this relationship that really, again, helps us flourish, but also communicates what we've been working on in, I feel like, a physical level, right? Because everything's been spiritual. Everything's been up here. We've been manifesting, we've been working, we've been thinking, we've been putting all the good feeling emotions to it, and now it's finally here in the physical, right? Because that's pentacles. It's the physical. And this is like, we've learned how to communicate. We've learned how to talk about our emotions. We learned how to feel our emotions. We've learned how to really identify with, or really not learned how to identify, but we've really identified what it is we want to do in our work and we're allowing ourselves to live a life aligned with that. Um, and then we have this three of pentacles and that is like teamwork, that's networking, that's communication. This is, you know, you doing your life's work straight up because look at this is like these pentacles are carved in stone so they are solid they are what you are supposed to be doing so really think about what you're doing right now and if you're not doing something if you're looking at your job and you're like i really don't like this then this is your indication today to start working towards what you really want say you're working as a salesman and you're like i really freaking hate sales but i want to own my own restaurant one day and i want to do you know and I want to have special taco nights and things like that. It's like, okay, start 
putting down the framework to move towards that, right? How are we going to get from plan A to plan B? What are the steps in between? Sit down and kind of write them out. Think about that. How are we going to free ourselves from this job that we don't like and move towards the job that we really see ourselves thriving in, right? We, there's people around us that are really inspired by the work that we're doing and even our ability to take that risk on ourselves, right? Again, going back to if we're doing something that we don't like to do, it's like people are watching what we're doing, even if we don't realize it, and just us being confident and courageous enough to make that change inspires other people. And they're like, wow, that person can, you know, that person is willing to take a risk on themselves. Like it impacts the people that are around you and that's something special. Even today, doing something that you like to be doing. You know, there are people around you that are watching you that are really proud of the work that you're doing and see what you have. Again, see what you have to give the world and they want some of it too. And it's not from a place of like, I want it all like ego narcissistic way. It's like, wow, I'm inspired by that. That brings me peace. I feel joy when I'm in their presence and I want to know how I can be like that too. I want to know how I can bring that, you know, confidence into my life. I want to know, you know, what they did to get to where they are because I honor who I am and I want to be that. I want to be my own expression of it in my own life, right? Three is also the number for new beginnings, communication, having fun, being social. So it's like today, share your ideas with other people, communicate your ideas with other people, what makes you happy and make sure that you're having fun. Networking and you know communicating with others doesn't have to be this like job. It, it can be fun, it can be exciting, it can be you know inspiring to ask others what inspired them to live a life of their freedom, right? It can be inspiring to ask others like how they got to where they are and what their passions are. Like there's nothing I love more than sitting down and talking to somebody about like what they love to do. Like <laughs> we got our couch and this guy loved couches. Like he was passionate about couches, man. I've never met anybody like it. He could talk about couches like how I talk about hair, but I was so, he gave me so much joy because he loved doing it so much and he was so passionate. He knew all the different techniques, all the different fabrics, like, and I loved talking to him and I would talk to him. I longer ask him a bunch of questions because it was just so again inspiring to see somebody so tapped in to a place of joy and love for what they're doing and that's what we're doing today so pay attention to again the environments that you're in the people that you're around and the work that you're doing because it really is part of your purpose and part of your path and it's something that you're meant to be doing because look at these people they're down here and they're sitting up there admiring the hard work that you've been putting in and it's been work that you've been doing on your own for a long time and now you're finally getting some recognition for it. And so that's gonna feel really good. And so it's Friday, so make sure you go out and celebrate the work that you've been putting in. And you know, the effort and the intention that's gone behind everything up to this point, right? I think I talked about a little bit last week, like if I never would have started doing tarot readings or you know, going to therapy or working on myself or leaving them my old salon, I would never be in this place with this new salon feeling so, at peace and so at home in myself and what I'm doing, I've never felt that before. And like, you know, I have this amazing boss and we're working on implementing energy healing into the salon. And she was like, if you wanna offer tarot readings, you can totally do that. And I never thought I could be in a space doing hair that would be receptive to my energy in that way and be so accommodating to ask me if that was something that I wanted to offer in my services at the salon. I've, you know, I've worked in very, you know, um, you know, typical, I feel like typical salon environments where that's not something that's, you know, usual. And so if I wouldn't have trusted myself and made all of those choices and just followed my path, I wouldn't be here today being able to implement everything in one environment. I always thought I had to be like different versions of myself in each, right? So that's what today is. It's like bringing it all together. Everything comes together today. And so I love that. Um, again, today the number is three, three meaning new beginnings, communication, having fun, being social. It's the empress in the major arcana. So it's like living a life out of love to share with those I love and trusting the love that I bring into this world that it's going to bloom and thrive around me, right? So I love that for Friday. Go out, have some fun, get some drinks, go dance with some friends and just, you know, Allow what you're inspired, like communicate what you're inspired by and watch how it takes place or watch how it 
I'll say take space in your life, okay? That's where we're gonna leave it. I love you guys. If you'd like to know more about me, what I have going on, or you'd like to book a tarot reading, you can go to ashleyrose.com. You can follow me on Instagram as well. That's Ashley Rose Tarot. The links are in the description, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the daily tarot reading.